Thanks, guys. Well, a lot of the nation has been up to date with what's been going on with Hugh Freeze. They know that he's been back down on the sidelines in a limited matter, back on his platform. But on the other end of the field, the head coach for New Mexico, with Bob Davey. Now, after their September 1st win, he was actually hospitalized in what was declared a critical medical emergency before he could even make it to the post-game press conference, which was subsequently canceled. This is his first game back. He's been having to watch his Lobos from home on the television up until this trip. He said he feels fine now, and you can't really change how you approach your coaching. So he plans to do everything the same, but he's got a lot of watchful eyes on him today. Welcome back to Williams Stadium. Still no score between the Liberty Flames and the New Mexico Lobos. Now, we told you earlier, head coach for the Lobos, Davey, this is his first game back on the sidelines after having a health scare back on September 1st. Well, now Coach Hugh Freeze has had a great rehab after his staff infection, a back surgery. But now while he has stayed on that platform, he said, I'm good enough, I think, to be off of it. But we're 2-0 and when I'm on the platform, guys. And I don't think I can start to mess with that now, at least while we're at home here at Williams Stadium. So Freeze stays on the platform today. However, his health is good enough to hopefully, when they're on the road, return to the grass once more. But you can't leave the street, guys. Guys, you could only dream to be as talented as Antonio Gandy-Golden. Not only, like you said, is he crushing it on the gridiron, uh, he's a man with some great flow. Now, he was actually asked in the press conference earlier this week, you've got buckshot with the beard, you've got a lot of flow going on in the sideline, but who has the best hair? And he said, I can't disrespect my mom, and every day she tells me I'm beautiful. So he said, after he scores, he's got to pop the helmet off, shake it out, give it a little bit of life. He likes that afro to have a lot of volume, but guys, he can also sing and dance, and boy, does he have fun with it on the sidelines. Coach, we knew that this was capable of being a shootout, but for such a low-scoring affair right now, I mean, really, what are you targeting, especially with the offense now that they've kind of gotten it rolling? Buckshot seems to definitely be used to pushing out of the pocket now. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's not what I expected. Uh, the score is not right now. Our defense is playing really, really well. Um, you saw me go for it on the fourth down and start and drive because I think this is going to be a shootout. You know, in any fourth and two or less, I'm going. Well, I've had to change that mindset. I'm frustrated we didn't get points down here. We turn it over in the red zone. We need a field goal there. You put it up 17 to three and you feel a little better, but uh, it's all about the ball. A team that takes care of it usually has a good chance of winning. Defense has played outstanding. We just gotta, we've gotta limit our scope offensively a little bit because of all the stuff they're doing defensively. And uh, I think we gotta get in here and get that cleaned up. You said you were happy to have Noah back on that huge reception that he had. Yeah. What does that mean that you can kind of switch things up because they know eyes are going to be on Gandy Golden to, so to have those other targets? That's exactly what happened on that. They they, they double covered the AGG of the field. We put two to the boundary, and that's a tough ask, and we ran a little switch route, and that's, that's a tough cover, and Noah made a, a great play, and uh, Buckshot made a great throw. Coach, we knew what these two teams are capable of doing to each other. Now, Dewey Ode seems to be a little bit off right now, and you've even mentioned trying to keep that energy even with him. So what was that message to him at the half? You know, I think uh, you're exactly right. I mean, we're just a little bit out of sync on offense. Uh, the penalties have really hurt us. Uh, there's a bit of clapping going on by their defensive line that's causing us to jump, but that's no excuse. You said it, we're just out of sync. You know, we. we Took three points off the board with the interception we threw right there. Uh, he's missed a couple open receivers. You know, we've tried to run the ball a little bit more, but we're kind of an explosive passing team, but he has to get back in rhythm right now. Uh, we made a couple mistakes on defense. One time we played one high on number 11. He ran an out and up on us. Then they got the big throw over here down the middle of the field against two deep. And kickoff coverage hurt us. You know, they had a big return by number one. So there's a lot of football left to play. It's 14-3. We get the ball here to start the second half. We got to get in on a rhythm. You know, we're a little bit in a funk right now on offense, it seems that way. What does it mean to you to be able to be hands-on again with these guys and to see all of this in person and to deliver that message exactly how you want it this week? Yeah, I mean, I wish we were up 14-3. I'd be a lot happier, but uh, no, it's it. we came here together. You know, we've got nobody else in here helping us but us. So it's all hands on deck, and we have to do what we have to do to get back in this football game. There's a lot of football left in this game. Well, Coach, you've got a lot to get left, too. Good luck. Thank you. Well, guys, Tuioti last week became the first quarterback since 2003 
for a 355-yard game. Now, he wasn't always the designated starting quarterback for the Lobos. In fact, this is the first time in the program's history, period, going back to the 50s, that they've had three different starting quarterbacks this season, and it's all because of injuries. Tuioti was even hurt last year against Liberty, a shoulder injury. It ended his season. So for Davey right now, just hoping he can keep him up and running after Brant Hughes went down against Sam Houston State. Sherion Jones has kind of been that call on man for them. Well, plenty of people have asked Davey, you know, what does that mean to have Liberty's former OC? And he said, it's not really even a factor. I did like his work. We scouted him when Liberty played Baylor. He was clean. He was exactly what we wanted. Now, while Davey was so chill about having Daly, it could not be any different for the former Liberty players who were underneath him, especially Buckshot Calvert, who really shaped his career with the help of Daly. He said, you know, it's going to be serious, and I know what he's bringing to the table. Hopefully the players will remember this type of offense that he likes to run and we can relate that but at the end of the day I'd love to be able to go and give him a hug after the game because he really just meant so much to my career so all of those different interwebs of football that find their way back to the same field Welcome back to Williams Stadium. Now, while well, Liberty took the field earlier and they have a man that leads the charge with the American flag when they initially take the field, the Lobos have something that is unique only to the land of enchantment. It was introduced by head coach Davey earlier in his career in New Mexico, but it's called the New Mexico Man. And this is an honor that's bestowed to only players who are from the state of New Mexico who have been or are currently a walk-on. It's his chance to recognize all of the hard work that they put in. Now, Andrew Shelley had it last week when they were at home. It's an honor only given at home. They wear a New Mexico man patch and they get to run out with the New Mexico state flag, but he said it's a great way to get the kids engaged and to give them the recognition they deserve. Their next is October 11th when they return home. That's a big thing to start out with Buckshot first, guys, but we'll give it to you again. He's looked so much more comfortable handling pressure tonight, and you could maybe chalk that up to Brett Favre if you've ever heard of him. He came and visited campus this week. He had a chance to talk to the general student body, but of course, as you could imagine, Coach Freeze, who is a good friend with Favre, arranged to have some time with his team one-on-one, -on -one, and that certainly included Buckshot. He was all smiles getting to talk to the NFL legend and just came away and said, you know, how grateful he was for it. Jerry Fowler Jr. was in on the meeting as well with Freeze, and you can kind of glean that little pro uh, touch that he's given to Buckshot tonight. Yeah, 